Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this look right here. And this look is actually inspired by someone, hold please while I retrieve it. Um, my friend Karina, you guys might know her, Karina Caparelli here on YouTube. She messaged me um, in this picture today. It is by the artist Sierra MUA. So this is a photo that she sent me. I'll actually like put it here too so I don't blind you by my phone. Um, but she's actually super stunning and I totally need to stalk her right now because now that I'm actually looking at her page, she's gorgeous and her work is bomb. Um, so yeah, she sent me this picture and she was like, please, I need a tutorial on this. Thank you so much. And I'm like, okay, got it. And then once I left work, I was like, that's it. Like, that's what I'm going home to film, you know? I have a lot of things in mind that I want to film. And when she sent me this, I was like, well, this tops the cake. And I'm really sorry I've been doing half cut creases and cut creases a lot. It's just something that I've, like, I feel like I've perfected now. And I never used to, like be able to do a cut crease with my type of like eye shape because I do have like tiny eyes and they're also hooded and they're also very like wrinkly. Like, I have a lot of skin and a lot of folds on my on my lids. Um but I didn't care because I love this look so much. I really don't know what to call it but I'm really inspired and it was such a gorgeous look when she sent it to me and I was like oh my god. So I didn't really feel like doing my hair. I do want to do new videos for you guys and different videos as well. So if you guys have any requests, please leave them down below in the description box. I really don't want this to be a super long intro, but um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to see how to get this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and jump on in. I'm starting off with my eyes first. So I'm grabbing this shade. I believe it's Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And I'm throwing this in my crease as my transition shade. And I'm using a Morphe R38 brush to do this. And I'm just blending this color into the crease until I get it as dark and intense as I want it to be. I'm just building this color up into my crease until I get it as intense as I want it to be and then I'm going to grab this shade. This is Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and I'm mostly placing the product in the outer corner area but the excess product that is left on my brush I'm going to sweep into my crease. Then I'm picking up that same brush that we used for our transition shade to really help blend those two together. Next, I'm grabbing Fudge. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is already in a palette that I had purchased from them, but I do believe that they sell this in an individual eyeshadow pan. So I'm just grabbing this Morphe brush. I'm not too sure of the number, so I will leave it down below in the description box. But I'm just placing Fudge on the pencil brush and throwing it into the outer crease area in the outer corner. And then I'm picking up the Morphe M433 to help diffuse the edges. Next, I'm grabbing Noir from the same palette that I have. I believe it's the Shadow Couture palette that has both of these shades in there. But I'm just packing on the black and then packing on the brown right over top of it to really help blend out the black and not make it too intense. I didn't want it to be super black in the outer corner, but I did want some more definition and depth into the outer corner, so that's why I did add the black. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm using concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as per usual. You can use whatever you want. You can use a paint pot from NAC if you want or any kind of cream shadow. It's That's going to really help cut the inner corner because it's a wet product. So it's going to really help give you that definition of the cut crease that you want it to be. I do have other videos on how I do my cut crease or I have cut crease so I will link them down below for you guys or somewhere here in the screen but it's super easy and the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M508 brush. Don't get discouraged because this look does have a half cut crease involved. Totally cater it to your liking and to your needs and honestly if you can't do a cut crease just keep on practicing. Practicing makes perfect and now I love cut creases because all I did is practice. But right now I'm going to grab Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Peach Single Eyeshadow and I'm just using that to set this base. While I was filming this video, I didn't have the intention to leave the inner half of this cut crease, um, this shade. But after I added the glitter, I really like the way this looked. But go ahead and do whatever shade you want. I kept it matte. You can go ahead and add a shimmer if you would like. Next, I'm just grabbing the pencil brush with a little bit more of that fudge shade on it just to make sure everything blends seamlessly together. Even though we are going to cover it up right now with the glitter liner, I did just want to make sure everything underneath it blended seamlessly together. So I'm grabbing the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, and this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. It is the glitter 
it's obviously the glitter <laughs> it is the gold glitter liner i feel like a lot of people get confused between this one and the silver but this one is gold so what i did was i just applied a very thin layer first and i'm letting it dry as you can see right now i'm fanning myself and then i'm gonna go back in and apply a second layer i do suggest either doing the liner first and not bringing it so far down to your lash line or doing the winged liner first because when i did go over it with the gel liner that you will see me do in a minute it was a little bit chunky, but teach his own. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my liner. This is the Inglot Gel Liner number 77. Of course, I did extend my lower lash line, so that's where I kind of started it. And I extended it. I brought it a little bit lower than as if I would usually do my wing. Just because when I blend out these shadows on the lower lash line, I want the lower lash line shadows to also connect with the outer corner of that wing if that makes any sense then I'm just going to go ahead and grab my NYX liquid liner this is the matte version and I'm just going to go ahead and go over that liner to deepen it up blacken it out and really smooth out the liner then I'm just going to go ahead and jump to complexion we'll finish the eyes later on I did prime off camera so I use my usual primers. I will leave them down below in the description box if you want to check them out. This is my combination for foundation recently. It's the L'Oreal Pro Glow and Pro Matte mixed with a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way, Born This Way foundation. Can't talk. Got a little tongue tied. But the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is darker than my skin tone and I am pretty tan because these two L'Oreal foundations alone or even mixed together on them on their own is still too light like as you can see my forehead is super dark but my foundation looks really light so whatever I just mixed them on the back of my hand and then I applied them with my Morphe E6 brush then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as per usual and I just I love this concealer so much so I'm just throwing this underneath the eyes and doing the center of the face as well and you guys I've been contouring my nose recently and literally I'm obsessed with the way that it looks I never really knew how to contour my nose because of the shape of it but now honey I got a down pat so if you guys want me to do like a cream contour video or anything like that or just a contouring and highlighting video let me know I do have one but it's super super old and I've changed my ways and my products so yeah I'm just blending all the concealer out with my damp L'Oreal sponge and now I'm going to set it with my RCMA no color powder which by the way fell on the floor after I filmed this and there was no cap on it so I was very sad after this video so I just lightly set it with this brush from Morphe and now I'm going in with this Luxie brush just to really push the product into the skin. I don't really wipe the product. I kind of push and drag my brush at the same time if that makes any sense just so I don't move the foundation or concealer underneath it. And but of course what other bronzer would I be using? This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer which guys I hit pan on. I don't think I've ever hit pan on a bronzer because I'm constantly going back and forth between bronzers, but this one is just my world. It's my whole life. For highlighter, I'm going in with this Mel Cosmetics Digital Dust Highlighter, and this is in the shade Stargazer. Absolutely beautiful, but I did think uh, I did think it was a little bit too of like a white champagne-y color, so I did go ahead and grab my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Collaboration Highlighter in the shade Everglow, and I grabbed that middle-toned gold shade from the trio and threw that right over top and I thought it looked beautiful. Now I'm just going back in and contouring my nose a little bit with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't really just use powders, but this day I decided to. I do use cream contour, so if you still want that video, let me know. For blush, I'm going in with Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso and I'm using the same brush that I used to apply my bronzer with just because I feel like it blends everything seamlessly together. I have absolutely no idea why my camera stopped recording for the lower lash line, but all I did was just apply a brown liner to my waterline and then also mix the brown and black from the Anastasia palette on the lower lash line and really smoked it out. This liquid lipstick is from Kylie's Summer Collection. I will leave the name of it down below. So I threw this on and then over top I'm going in with this gloss by Colourpop in I Love Sada E in the shade Curvy. And once I did that this look was complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and let me know if you guys have any video requests. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I See you guys all in my next video. Bye. Do not want it here. Go get it.